everybody. I'm going to read to you Grandma's Feather Bed. Now you might recognize this as John Denver's music song. It was written as a song first. And it was illustrated and adapted by Christopher Canyon. And illustrated means that pictures were drawn. Okay. And after John Denver um, did his song, then they decided we should probably make a book about it. And it says, Music makes pictures and often tells stories, all of it magic and all of it true, and all of the pictures and all of the stories, and all of the magic, the music is you. Written by John Denver. Again, it was illustrated. What does illustrated mean? Yeah, pictures were made by Christopher Canyon. When I was a little bitty boy, just up off the floor, we used to go out to Grandma's house every month end or so. We'd have chicken pie and country ham and butter on, homemade butter on the bread. But the best darn thing about Grandma's house was her great big feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four to eleven geese, took a whole bowl of cloth for the tick. I'd hold, it'd hold eight kids and four ham dogs than the piggy we stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. After supper, we'd sit around the fire, the old folks spit and chew. Pa would talk about the farm and the war, and my granny'd sing a ballad or two. I'd sit and listen and watch the fire till the cobwebs filled my head. Next thing I'd know, I'd wake up in the morning in the middle of the feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four eleven geese, took a whole bowl of cloth for the tick. It hold eight kids, four ham dogs, and the piggy we stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Well, I love my pa, I love my ma, I love Granny and Grandpa, too. I've been fishing with my uncle. I wrestled with my cousin. I even kissed Aunt Lou. Ew! But if I ever had to make a choice, I guess it ought to be said. I'd trade them all, plus the gal down the road, for Grandma's feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four to eleven geese, took a whole bowl of cloth for the tick. It hold eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy we stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. The end. Now, you can go to YouTube and look up Grandma's Feather Bed with John Denver. Moving on, we're going to talk about some things that you can do with your children. Kids, are you listening? What can mom and dad do with you right now? Or grandma or wherever you're at, okay? Um, what we can do is we can play instruments. What? Instruments in my house? Well, I don't have any. Ah, but you do. See, sound is made from vibrations. Okay? This is more like a slap, isn't it? So sound is made from vibrations. And so what we're going to do is take a couple things from my kitchen drawer. Okay? So that's one that we can play. Here's another one. Ooh, two pans, it might get loud. Make sure your mom's not on the phone. If your mom is on the phone, she's not going to want you to do this, okay? So make sure it's okay. Ready? Here we go. Now, what would happen if we hit the plastic on it? Is that a different sound? Oh, we can make another sound. What is this? A wooden spoon. A pot and a spoon, who'd have thought? The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Okay, get the picture? So you can get up and you can march your feet. Let's do that. Let's do that real quick, okay? Let's march our feet. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The 
ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to suck his thumb and they all go marching down to the ground, to the back of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. I have something else here. This is more of a frying pan, not so much a pot. Let's see what happens. This is rubber handles. Let's see. Do you like that sound? Oh, I think I like that sound too. Found the metal part. Look at these are just tongs. I think I got these at the dollar store. Shh, don't tell anybody I like to buy cheap sometimes. Okay? And you can dance around with your kids. Just have fun, okay? Right now during COVID-19, our kids are home, they're restless. They like to go to school. They like to be around friends. They like to hang out with family. And right now they're not able to do that, right? And it might be driving you a little bit crazy. And crazy is okay, but here's the thing I want you to remember, okay? Right now you have a blessed time, a gift of time to spend with your children. And you know what? It's gonna go so much easier if you laugh and have fun with them, okay? So every day, make it a point to have fun with them. Yeah, it might get noisy, but you get to control what the rules are. So talk to them about the rules first, like I did at the beginning, okay? First of all, we are not going to be playing all these instruments when we're on the phone. Let's keep going. Look at... Okay, so a plastic spatula, a wooden spoon. That's a different sound. Let's see what it sounds like up here. And you guys can create a marching band. And mom and dad, don't be afraid to join in with that. Do it. Do it. Aunts and uncles, grandmas, whoever's watching them, do it. Get with your kids. Have fun. It's a gift of time right now. You can even pretend to be a rock star. I do all the time. My family tells me, shh, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, look, look, it. I found one more thing. Now you're going to find other things, and I'm sure you're going to be so... Um, inventive and creative, but I just hurried up and got some things together for you. And let the children hear the different sounds. Oh, you can count with it too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So that's it for now. Coming to you from HRDC website. I just wanted to give you some hope. I wanted to give you some fun. I think that this time that you have with your children is a gift of time. How often do we get to stay home from work and be with our kids all day? And just so you know, at one point in time, I homeschooled five children. So I get it, okay? Have a blessed day. I'm so happy that you were able to join me. I hope it helps. God bless you all. We'll talk to you later. Bye from Miss Angie.